how to paint your nails perfect every single time, get salon worthy nails without paying a dime, doing it at home, even if you suck at doing your nails. Start by picking out your favorite nail polish and clean off any excess nail polish so our nails are bare and clean. Even if you weren't wearing polish, this is a good step because you might have excess oil on your nails and polish will just stick better if you get rid of it. All right, I'm taking my base coat and applying it all over the nails. Here's where things get a little different. We're not gonna paint our thumbs, no. All right, grab your color and let's get started. We're going to aim to stay inside the lines. Don't we want that all? We wanna like have perfect in the lines, color inside the lines nails, but that doesn't always happen because you know, you don't have the most steady hand and I don't know, I always screw one hand up worse than the other. I'm about to mess up. Here, it's gonna happen. There you go. See, oh, that happens at least once or twice every time I do my nails, but no worries because I kept my thumb clean of polish and I'm just gonna dip it in some acetone and then I'm gonna take the edge of my nail and clean up where I messed my polish up, kind of like they do in the salon. That's where I got the idea. So I'm going to continue painting and I'm gonna continue messing up and there we go outside the lines like I am back in grade school and I don't know how to color but I can clean up the edges and again this is really effective really easy just dip your thumb in the acetone clean the edge and then you can dip your thumb back in the acetone to clean up any of the color that you get on your thumbnail and then I'm going to put polish on my other hand but not on my thumb not on either thumb I'm gonna take this beautiful glittery kind of top coat and that's gonna be my second layer so I am just putting that on my nails and if I happen to mess up I'm going to clean it up with my thumbnail it's the weirdest but best tip I swear it will change the way you do your nails and the way they turn out I'm now gonna apply a base coat to both of my thumbnails and you want to wait about 60 seconds in between layering your polish so just I don't know sing to yourself or something count to 60 whatever you need to do and then put your color on count to 60 put that little top coat on the glittery top coat or if you're just doing color your second color 60 seconds later and that's pretty much it if you do screw up on the thumbnails just take a touch of acetone on a q-tip and clean up the edges now I'm ready for some dry fast top coat. This is from Sesh Feet. It really gives like a gel shiny finish, which I love, which also makes it look like you spent money at the salon, but you didn't. Fooling everyone. So just applying my top coat. You can use any top coat, whatever you like. Apply that on there and you're done. Look at that, it's so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like these kind of wacky weird beauty tips, thumbs this up and I hope you're having a good one. I was sent a box of goodies from Revlon and I created this beautiful springtime purple smoky eye. It's easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to step by step and I may have found a new favorite holy grail mascara. This thing is amazing. Let's get to it.